let's go ahead and create the raw list view. Very simple, course list view, and here it's from view. We can add in a template name here, much like we've done before. And I'll just call this course list. And then I'm gonna do something new, and that is setting a query set here. So course.objects.all. And then I'll just go ahead and do define git self request args and keyword args. And then we're just gonna go ahead and return, well, the render of the request, the self.template name, and then my context, I'll just put in a dictionary here and say object list equals to self.query set. For better illustration purposes, I'll just leave it in as that context, just like that. Okay, pretty cool. So I bring this into my URLs, and now I'm gonna go ahead and you know get rid of this other one and leave that in as view here. And then in my templates, I'll go ahead and say course list.html. And for my product list, I'll just copy that one there. And I'll not worry about a link for now. I'll just show the actual title, save it, okay? And go back into our courses, just that one list. And we see that I've got two in there. Very simple, very easy. But I wanna go one step further to get it closer to how the generic view works. And that is defining the get query set method here. And what it's gonna do is, well, it's gonna return self.query set. And then in my context, instead of query set itself, it will just, we'll call self.getQuerySet or this instance method here instead. So if I save that, refresh in here, it's the exact same. However, if I actually inherited from this and said class my list view from that course list, so let's just put it right underneath here. And I said query set and I put it equal to course.objects.filter ID equals to one. This will actually give me a list of items even though it will only give me one. And I brought, bring this into my URLs and use that one instead. Save that, I refresh in here. Let's sure, make sure I've saved everything. Okay, I refresh in here. What do you know? There is the biggest benefit of using class-based views is this inheritance property. Of course, I'm not actually gonna end up doing that, but I wanted to show you for illustrated, illustration purposes. Let's bring it back to what it was. That's it.